How's it people? It's a bit of a murky wet day in the Black Down Hills today. So a bit different today. We're off uh, doing a bit of strimming for someone. Today's a really good day because young Trig had a bit of a fear of cows this morning. So we, or we as in me, decided the best way to do it, stick him in a field full of cows. Strimming out a big area, cleaning it all out, um, exposing there's a pond buried in there somewhere. So I just thought something a bit cool and different. People we're working for today are quite happy with us using, doing videos and stuff, which a lot of people aren't. So I um, thought something a bit different. Hopefully we'll have something a bit nicer to update you with in a day or two. It's Monday morning, beautiful day here today in the Black Downs. Just about to start on the uh, block work on the footings. I can't remember what it is now, it's actually 500 and something blocks you've got to go in. Um, so it's going to be learning curve for me. Done bits of block work before, but never, never anything this size, and never laid out myself. So we'll just be taking our time with it a bit. Um, just kind of, yeah, just taking our time, making sure everything's right. Then tomorrow we are off to Dorset again. Um, got quite a large hedge trimming job going on might be one day might be two days i've actually seen it yet just going in on day rate so that should be good um a few other bits and pieces of tree work and hedge work going on so we're just going to be kind of falling back on this which is it's a bit frustrating but it's um it's nice to have there really uh i just want to get this up done moved in but that's not the way it is so um yeah Bit of a bit of cleaning up in here, get all the shuttering off, which is pretty well stuck in now. And then we'll be getting on with the blocks. It's Monday evening, a uh, really productive day today. Took um, took our time, took a fair while getting the corners set up, um, just making sure all the distance is correct from point to point, and most importantly that everything is square from corner to corner. Um, yeah, took a fair bit of faffing round. Not particularly easy because of the different levels. If everything was on the flat, it'd just be quick and easy, but then that'd be no fun, would it? Um, got a few blocks in down the bottom. Again, a little bit slow going. Um, not used to laying blocks, but really, really enjoying it. So looking forward to getting the rest of it done. A uh, bit frustrating. Got to go to sunny Dorset tomorrow and do a load of hedge trimming but it pays for a few more blocks, so can't complain. Something a bit different going on this morning. We've got a new pole going in. I'm just down in the foot in at the moment. See up there, we've got a um, power line, a power pole, uh, right in the way, kind of it's in the ideal spot for where you'd want to sit and look out. So um, got Western Power out and we're gonna move it. Right over to that boundary, what that means because it's going up, we've got to have a massive, great big pot, I don't see it that well, it's like 12 metres long, it's massive. Um, luckily some bright sparks built a bridge, so should be good. I'll uh, update you when it's in, hopefully. How's it people? Got a concreting job starting next Monday, um, reasonable size barn floor to dig up and re-concrete and level and all the rest of it probably well, it is uh, about the same footprint as the house what this means is we've got to get this dump truck onto this lorry obviously to do that we need some metal ramps i'm not a fabricator so what we've done we've enlisted the help of a specialist some say he single-handedly built the Titanic. All we know is he's called the Trig.
Friday afternoon. Bit of a change of plan today, unfortunately. Um, weren't out to go, uh, weren't able to go out to Dimpsey, so hopefully go out there tomorrow instead. Had Western Power out here though, and I don't know if you can see in the background, they put a blooming great pole next to the boundary. Reason for getting it moved is the existing pole is here, and if you can see at the back, so this is just ideal spot, just to kind of sit down, have a little fire pit, have a little seating area, um, and it's kind of the best view of the whole place, and looks directly over the view, right in the middle of this area, is this pole, which kind of spoils it a bit. So, the pole, We've moved to over there. Um, I think they're coming out Wednesday. They're gonna reconnect the, uh, deconnect that, reconnect, connect that, and uh, away we go. So looking forward to that. Won't be doing this area for uh, months and months and months and months, but just getting things underway. Exciting stuff. Saturday morning, we're back at Dimpsey Glamping. Um, I just thought I'd do a quick video. Absolutely stunning here this morning. I really couldn't think of anywhere I'd rather be right now. Uh, sun's just coming out, a little bit of mist and dew on the ground. Absolutely lovely. Really peaceful and quiet until it gets drums going. Um, Trigg's doing well with his uh, newfound love of cows. He started naming them, feeding them grass. It's, it's actually quite cute. I'll uh, try and get a video of him later. This is what we're dealing with mainly here at Dimpsey. You can see it's about seven foot of bramble. Um, done a feral bit, but still a feral bit to do. They come back, I think it's tomorrow. Um, we're only in here on day rate, but I really, really want to get it all done. So yeah, hopefully by five we'll be done. As you can see behind me, that's where all the mountain of bramble was earlier. Uh, we've got the whole area clear. You couldn't see any of this before. You couldn't see the gate back there. You couldn't see the gate back there. You couldn't see the pond. Um, really, really chuffed with this. Uh, Dimpsey Glamping have got something a little bit special planned for their guests for next year. I've been sworn to secrecy, yeah, sworn to secrecy and I'm not allowed to say what it is, um, but hopefully we'll be doing a bit more of it. So you might be able to see a bit of it as we go along. Love doing this sort of work, really kind of high impact. Most people hate dragging themselves through brambles, but we love it. Good, high impact work. Um, you just give really good value for money. All the hedges and uh, tree work we've been doing this week, everyone's just been really impressed with the value we can give, which is always nice. Uh, next week, we did have a big concrete job booked, but that's been postponed, so hopefully we'll get on the footings. and. Um, yeah, as always, thanks for sharing, thanks for commenting. See you next week.